Welcome to the module on Fundamentals of Time Management. Pareto Analysis The Pareto Principle has many applications in quality control. It is the basis for the Pareto Diagram, one of the key tools used in total quality control, and Six Sigma. In PMBOK Pareto Ordering is used to guide corrective action and to help the project team take action to fix the problems that are causing the greatest number of defects first. This law seems to apply to lots of things in life. 20% of your stored phone numbers, you call 80% of the time. You see 20% of your family and friends minus 80% of the time. 80% of your monthly paycheck vanishes in 20% of the month. 7 Steps to Identifying the Important Causes Using Pareto Analysis Form a table listing the causes and their frequency as a percentage. Arrange the rows in the decreasing order of importance of the causes, example the most important cause first. Add a cumulative percentage column to the table. Plot with causes on x-axis and cumulative percentage on y-axis. Join the above points to form a curve. Plot on the same graph a bar graph with causes on x-axis and percent frequency on y-axis. Draw a line at 80% on y-axis parallel to x-axis. Then drop the line at the point of intersection with the curve on x-axis. This point on the x-axis separates the important causes on the left and less important causes on the right. The 80-0 R20 rule is best summed up by remembering this image. The 80 or 20 rule. Do 20% of your users cause 80% of recurring incidents? Does 20% of your infrastructure cause 80% of your outages? Do 20% of your staff cause 80% of your migraines? Today we have learned about the fundamentals of time management. Let's go ahead and learn about the busy versus productive work.